All right, so this is video number two for differentials, and the thing we need to know is what makes something independent and what makes something dependent for our differential equations. And so let's take a look at these two examples right here. So our first example says d squared of x divided by dt squared plus a times d of x divided by dt plus k, which is uh, coefficient slash constant x, which equals zero. And so what do we need to take from this? What do you know which is dependent and what do you think is independent? So a good tip is always know what is dependent and what's independent by simply just always writing it out. So this is one tip I give to people is that our de dependent variable is always on top and our independent variable is always in the bottom. And so if you write this out then you know that in terms of x that's going to be our dependent variable and in terms of t that's going to be your independent variable. So we got independent t dependent x and so that answers our question. But if we we need to take one more thing out of this question. What are a and k? Well, let's think about it right now. I'll give it a couple of seconds to think. Well, a and k are coefficients. And, and this is something that is really important. Because when, we, when we're going to learn about linear and nonlinear um, differential equations, this is really important. What to know knowledge what is a coefficient and what it makes an equation dependent and independent. And so we'll look at a couple of examples. And so this is our next example. It says that this is means the partial derivatives. So we got two partial derivatives right here. We got partial derivative u divided by d of x and partial derivative du divided by d of y. And so what do we know is from this example over here that is our dependent and independent variables? Well, if you remember, we just always start writing this and this. And so we could clearly see what is what. And so this leads to my second tip. My second tip right here is for this, for identifying what's a dependent and independent variable, is we start by saying di. And so that's going to be a mnemonic. It means di. And so you can clearly know what they stand for. It means dependent, independent. And so you could come up with something clever like, like you could say um, dog or, I don't know, ice, dog ice. Or ice dog or something, you know. That's kind of clever to make you remember that. Or you could just say dependent, independent. Or you say di. That's how I remember it. So you could just think of anything that's pretty clever. Dog eyes. And so let's go on with the problem. So we could identify what our independent variable is, right? It's always going to be what's on the bottom. And sometimes it's just as easy as that. So our independent variable is x and y. And our dependent variable is going to be u. And there's no coefficients, so we don't have to worry about that. And so we're going to see a couple more problems right now. Alright, so let's take a look at this example. And so if we remember what we need to do, we could just, we don't remember, we could do this. Remember we said dog ice, or dependent, independent, or di just whatever works for you and so now we did that so now we could depend we could um see which one's which right so we know the top's going to be our dependent the bottom's going to be our independent and so we could clearly see that i is going to be our dependent so i'll put dip and t is going to be our independent and other ways to be able to tell this because this problem um clearly states which one's which 
as you look over here and you see that this is um, independent and you can see over here that this is dependent and so let's see right here we got to identify what the rest of what this is saying so we got E, C, R, and L and these would just be our constants so we got constant L constant R constant I and constant E so that's our answer for that one a partial derivative or partial differentiation and so let's take a look right here and so when you we gotta remember what our thing is right when you say di or dog ice or dependent independent and so now we know what this stands for and so with partial differentiation or partial derivatives is that they always usually have two independent variables, right? So we got u and v for independent, so put in. And w is going to be our dependent variable. And so that's all you really need to know about this problem. Alright, so this is the first part of our last problem. So there's two ways to solve this problem. And feel free to pause the video and try it on your own. But if you take a look right here, there's two ways to solve it, so you, the, let's do it the first way. And so the first way we're going to do it is that we're going to divide d of x to the other side. And so this cancels out, and we're given dy d of x, as you've seen right there. And so we're going to just bring our variables down and our constants and everything within our function and see what happens so now we have dx dy dy d of x but that's not what is sufficient enough to be able to tell what your um, dependent and independent variable is but let's say if we're working out with this problem we need to reduce it more so let's subtract this to the other side let's say the problem was asking us to reduce it to have a zero on one side or something, you know, you, it just depends what the, what the question is asking. So that's going to equal zero. And for the sake of this problem, I'm going to reduce it all the way to the most simplistic form. And so that ends up giving us this negative. And so I'm going to flip it, and you can have the negative in front, or you can have the negative in front of the 2, it just doesn't really matter. It's all the same. It says the same thing because you're multiplying everything together. But in just case you guys get confused. And the, the main thing to take out of this is that this is a, clearly this is a circle. And so this is something I'm hinting at right now. That's why there's two ways to solve this problem. And so this would be your answer, right? And so now we just got to identify what's our dependent and independent variable. And so let's say um, we do what we've been doing, which is di. That means our independent variable is going to be if you guessed it, x, so independence x, and our dependence y. Sorry about that. Cool. That's equal to y, and this is x, so di, I remember dog eyes something something useful for you remember so dependent independent and so now we're going to do this one more time all right so now let's continue with this problem so first thing we need to do is we need to divide by doy it's the exact opposite of what we did last problem 
or the same problem again but we're just doing the opposite and so let's see what we get right here we got x squared plus y squared which is a circle and that gives us dx dy which equals 2xy and so all we really need to do is subtract 2xy to the other side 2x minus y then subtract it over here we get x squared plus y squared minus 2xy which is going to be dx dy equal to 0 so I hope you could see what happened right here so we solved in terms of what's the independent and dependent variable well if you say di then dependent variables on top so we have dependent variables would be x and the independent variable and this term is going to be y so that's all you really need to know about this problem is that the this problem was there was two ways to solve for it and I believe it has something to do with being a circle and of course um, in terms of these kind of problems it, you have to take the derivative and with respect to what the question is asking you know and so this this is just a simple question trying to to discover what is an independent variable and what's a dependent variable and so this was an interesting problem like I said because there was two ways to solve for it so if you had a test and you had this problem on the test you would have to show both ways first you gotta show the way with the dx dy or and then you gotta show the way with the dy d of x so you gotta show both and so this is our answer and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to my channel I love making content like this every day and if you want to keep seeing content like this please leave a comment down below to tell me that you want to keep seeing something like this or leave a comment down below and tell me what you do want to see and if if you have any ideas for the, the future for this channel please let me know about that too and I hope this helped you guys I love making videos helping people out and can't wait to see you guys next time so bye